Column multiplication, three digits by three digits. As in the previous step, it is vital that all of the digits are kept in the same column. We're going to begin with the units. Five multiplied by nine is 45. The five goes in the units column and the four carried over. Five times two is 10 and the four makes 14, carrying that one across. Five times four is 20 and the one make 21. Now multiplying by 10. As we're multiplying by 10, we can add a zero to the units column. So six multiplied by nine is 54. The four goes in the tens column and we carry the five across. Six multiplied by two is 12 and the five we've carried over makes 17. The seven is in the hundreds column and the one is carried across. Six multiplied by four is 24 and the one makes 25. And now for the hundreds column. As we're multiplying by hundreds, we can add two zeros, one in the units column and one in the hundreds column. And then begin. Two multiplied by nine is 18. We write the eight and carry the one across. Two multiplied by two is four and one make five. Two multiplied by four is eight. And now we must add all of these numbers together, starting always with the units column. Five add zero add zero is five. Four add four add zero is eight. One add seven add eight is 16. We put the six and carry the one underneath. Two add five add five is 12 and the one we carried across makes 13. We write in the three and carry the one across. Two add eight is 10 and one below makes 11, which gives us a total of 113,685.